This is a drill that you should be doing to improve rotation of this lower leg bone and the rooting of your foot. Hey everyone, Brandon and Brandon here from the Kabuki Shrank Lab and today we're going to show you a lower limb exercise to improve the bottom position of your squat. If you feel like you have a hip shift or if you feel like your ankles are bound up in a squat, this is a drill that you should experiment with and see if it's one that is going to benefit you. So what we're going to be talking about today is tibial rotation. Tibial rotation is very important for hitting the bottom position of your squat effectively and efficiently. If when you get to the bottom position of a squat, your lower leg cannot do this because this muscle is too bound up or your feet, your foot is so weak that it slips into pronation or if you have flat feet, this is a drill that you should be doing to improve rotation of this lower leg bone and the rooting of your foot. Now, the setup for this drill is going to be in a lunge position. We have Brandon already set up. We're gonna point that back toe into the ground I should mention uh, this drill we learned from our good friends at Acumobility, um, Brad Cox, shout out to you. This drill has found its way into our seminars and, and with many, many of our, our athletes that we work with. What we're going to have Brandon do is point his foot kind of at an angle here so we bias that tibia into internal rotation and the point of that is to force Brandon to control the arch of his foot when we ask him to externally rotate it. The setup now, he cannot lose the pad under his big toe here. It's very easy to win this drill if you just supinate the foot or just flop the foot open as he uh, rotates his tibia and hip. Okay, get your foot back over here, Brandon. To keep him honest, we're gonna test him with a floss band. Trap that. Now, what I'm gonna ask Brandon to do is to keep this down. I'm gonna know if he loses it because that band's gonna come out. I'm gonna ask him to externally rotate the hip and tibia out of here, and he's gonna hold that as hard as he can for maybe a five to eight count. Good, relax. How hard is that, Brandon? Very. It might not look like much, but this drill is actually incredibly challenging. If you have weak feet, I promise your foot is going to immediately cramp, which is in itself not a bad thing, but it's a sign that you should work on your foot strength and ankle stability. Um, if you guys struggle again with shifting your hips in the bottom of a squat or you shift away from one leg, you should be working on tibial rotation in that opposite leg. So if you shift to the right in your squat, you should start with that left leg and work on that left leg tibial rotation to make sure that that's not a driving force. Chances are you shouldn't start at the hip complex and you need to start at the, uh, the, the area that it might be driving the function of the hip complex, which is going to be the foot and ankle first. Anything like that, Coach Brandon? Uh, just don't let your entire body rotate as you do this drill. It's very tempting to do so. Yep. Hold this drill for about an eight to 10 count and use a contract relax method and try and stack on maybe five total sets or until the drill becomes easier. Brandon and Brandon out.